Hey, this is Rob at Lutheran Outdoor Ministry Center here at Paul's Pond, and we want to share something with you that we stumbled on the other day, a uh, giant puffball mushroom. I always want to say marshmallow because as you're going to see, uh, these things are huge and they kind of do look like a giant marshmallow. Uh, in early October uh, is where this video is uh, happening. Uh, usually these um, mushrooms start to appear and they're white at first. They take up to about two weeks to, uh, to become their full size. And uh, sometimes you find them on a tree. Sometimes you'll find them growing right on the ground as you'll see in this one. And the amazing thing is, is a lot of times with uh, mushrooms is they actually, um, you'll find them growing near each other. And so we actually not didn't find only one, we actually found two. And we'll do a little comparison. We'll put something in front of it to show you just how big these uh, giant puffball mushrooms get. As I said, they start off white and they will eventually turn uh, brown. When I found one a year ago um, at the edge of uh, farmland and forest, I thought it was an old Nerf ball that someone had thrown away. And I'm like, well, how in the heck did it get way out here? And then in, uh, later on, as I had returned um, from hiking, I thought, well, I wonder, I don't know what that was. And discovered that it was actually a puff ball, giant puff ball mushroom. So they turn brown and inside, then the spores can be released. So inside this marshmallow type mushroom, suddenly, uh, these spores will uh, will appear and even the slightest thing like rain can set them off sending this plume of uh, spores into the air it's amazing uh, and it looks like an old nerf ball it actually looks just like an old nerf ball and so if you kick it um, it will help spread the spores they're not dangerous and of course the hope is, is that you will get eventually somewhere more of these mushrooms the uh, native peoples uh, were said to have used these to uh, coagulate blood on wounds to stop the bleeding. And there's some evidence to support that it, it can help. Obviously, our, probably you figure our modern ways of, of treating wounds probably is a little bit better. But it's interesting all these things that God has given us uh, to do in different ways. So what, what, what I want you to think about today is what are those things that God has placed uh, on you? What are those gifts and those skills that build up inside you, what are those passion? What is that that you have passion for? And like the uh, mushroom, the question is, is it has to be released. So what, what is that passion that you can share in spite of COVID-19 and other difficulties that perhaps are going on in, in your life? What is it? What has God given you? And how can you share that passion? Ponder that, think about that. God has given us so many great gifts uh, this gift of grace that wells up inside of us that we have can do no other than to share. Pray about that. Think about that. We have a lot of great things at uh, LMC to share with you. And this is just one. Perhaps we'll come back and uh, we'll show you when it looks like when it's brown and show you actually uh, it's sending those spores out. So be like a puffball mushroom. Share. Multiply. Have some fun.